Hey everyone, uh, my name is Parag, Senior Program Manager in Microsoft Search and Bing product team, uh, working on a uh, few scenarios on Microsoft Search size as well as graph connectors. So, give you a quick um, you know, snapshot or the overview of what we shared uh, uh, you know, earlier this month in Ignite. Uh, as most of you folks already know that Graph Connectors is uh, GA, you know, it helps you bring in your third party content into Microsoft Search ecosystem, uh, helps you bring content into not just search, but, you know, for intelligent discovery, Viva topics, people experience, um, and not to mention security and compliance in build because, you know, it's part of M365 as we all know. So, uh, General availability. So, few of our graph connectors, which we announced last Ignite, uh, I'm sure you know most of our customers have already been using it for a good one year and sharing good feedback with us. Uh, number of number of new graph connectors we announced private preview this Ignite. Uh, that includes SharePoint on-prem connector, which is the topic you know I wanted. Uh, uh, you know some discussion in this forum, uh, as well as few additional. And you know if any of these. Um, graph connectors in preview you see on the right side of the screen is area of your interest. Uh, I have a sign up link to participate in the private preview in the coming slide. You can you know share your information and uh, one of our team member from graph connectors team will reach out to you to get more information. And uh, the graph connectors in preview includes SharePoint on-prem. We'll have you know more discussion on that. Uh, Azure DevOps work items we already have azure devops uh, ga uh, this is the you know addition to that which includes work items uh, then jira confluence service now catalog uh, we already had service now knowledge base uh, ga and this catalog currently is in preview uh, azure devops wikis uh, csv connector and schoology which is mostly for our uh, you know education space customers so you know the number of connectors in uh, in preview would love to get you know uh, um, you know, a few of uh, folks from this uh, forum submit the nomination so, you know, we can work with you and, you know, uh, bring you into a private preview. Now, talking about SharePoint on-prem connector, uh, as you know, you know, we have been, uh, you know, most of the customers already using uh, cloud hybrid search to, to get this hybrid environment set up to, uh, you know, make your on-prem SharePoint content searchable from, from on-prem or, you know, in from SharePoint online. Uh, but with the graph connectors, you know, we're taking it to next stage where, you know, you can bring your on-prem content into this whole ecosystem of graph connectors where, you know, the content will not just participate in uh, search, but it will also participate in, you know, some advanced features like Viva topics and, and uh, you know, uh, the discoverability and, you know, the all the new features which, which our team is working on or, you know, showed preview during uh, this Ignite. Uh, what we support in SharePoint on-prem graph connectors today, if you have no plans of moving your on-prem SharePoint content to cloud in let's say next two to three years time frame, we would suggest you to give it a try uh, and you know start thinking about how you will move the you know the content or index it uh, through this, SharePoint on-prem graph connector into cloud and, you know, use all the advanced capabilities of search and, and uh, you know, Viva. Here is the link to participate in the private preview, AKMS slash graph connector preview. Um, and, you know, the capabilities we currently support is if you have SharePoint on-prem environment 2013, 16, 19, all three supported. Uh, this connector is specifically on-prem agent based. So, you know, you have a agent framework or agent uh, kind of installer, which you install in your local environment. Uh, then it talks to uh, basically our cloud components and, you know, help you crawl the uh, SharePoint uh, on-prem servers and, you know, help you ingest the data from your on-prem, basically ingest the index to our online system. We support exclusion list, we support ECL, so you know all the permissions set for your on-prem content will be respected in your online search scenarios. We support basic and Windows auth at this point and you know uh, making uh, uh, you know providing support for more auth scenarios as we you know as I speak uh, you know in coming weeks. Uh, and it's part of M365 graph connector ecosystem, so you know secure and compliant by design. Uh, once so the currently it's uh, the way we are working in private preview is you submit submit uh, your information in in the sign up form which i shared the link 
uh, AKMS slash graph connectors preview. We enable this particular connector for your tenant. And then once it's enabled, it will be available in your uh, data sources. Once you go to admin center, search intelligence slash data sources, you will see this new connector showing up here, which is called SharePoint. Uh, and you know, from there, it's the regular admin screens where you provide uh, you know the source information, um, echo permissions, and you know what all you want to crawl and you know exclusion list and things like things like that. And after that, you create uh, you provide the modern result types, you create vertical, and then you know start showing up in your SharePoint Online, Office.com, and Microsoft Search and Bing Search experiences. Uh, at high level, uh, you know a little bit information about how this overall architecture is working. So, you know, this here is your source on-prem agent. As I said, you know, it's an on-prem agent-based system. Agent will be installed locally on your server or you know a VM if you want to create in your environment, which has information how to do the crawling for your source system and you know talk to our um, online system in graph connector service. Uh, which helps in crawling and ingesting and you know basically coordinating the the uh, ingestion part and then you know it puts information in substrate and from there you know it appears in your uh, search experiences so that's all i have in my presentation i do not have any you know uh, any demos at this point but would love to get information to uh, you know help you folks try it out so please submit that information in the uh, nomination form and I'll share that link if uh, Brian has not already done that. So thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate the time uh, and uh, looking forward for your participation. Thank you, Parak. Yeah, we shared the uh, link already in the chat. One question, Parak, uh, related on the uh, on the supported versions. The so latest version of SharePoint Server on premises is actually SharePoint Server Subscription Edition, which was released mm -hmm. uh, two months ago, uh, which is based on SharePoint 2019. I guess that's supported, uh, but it wasn't mentioned on the slides, uh, and slide might be outdated. So um, there was a question related on that. Correct. Yeah. So sub subscription edition, we, uh, my team is still, you know, working on few of the last components on it. So likely in a month time, it will, you know, we'll have support for that. But at this point, if, um, you know, our customers want to give it a try in next one month, I would say 2013, 16 and 19, but likely starting January, we'll have support for subscription edition as well. That is all that was uh, expected. That was, I think, that was the only pending question. And then was that that was my comment actually that there was a lowercase p on the on the picking of a SharePoint. So uh, it a point is a bit a capital P. But again, it's in preview, so it's okay. Let's get it fixed. <laughs> Thank <then>. you. So. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Barak, uh, on that one. Mm -hmm.